Oxygen permeability can be considered as a durability performance indicator for concrete systems. This video demonstrates how to determine the oxygen permeability of concrete using the test procedures given in the South African Durability Index Manual. The test setup consists of the following components. Oxygen permeability cell with inlet and outlet valves. An oxygen cylinder with a pressure regulator. A metal collar, a rubber casket and a concrete disc specimen of diameter 70 plus or minus 2 millimeters and thickness 30 plus or minus 2 millimeters. This specimen can be prepared as follows. First, prepare a concrete cube of side 150 millimeters and then cure it as needed. Then, using a concrete coring machine, extract a cylinder with a diameter of 70 plus or minus 2 millimeters from this cube. Apply a thin coating of epoxy on the curved surface of the cored cylinder. Allow the epoxy to cure for a period as recommended by the manufacturer. After the epoxy is cured well, mark 15 mm from one end, then mark the subsequent points with about 30 plus or minus 2 mm as shown on the screen. This way, four specimens can be obtained from one core. Cut the cylinder on the markings to prepare the concrete specimens. A concrete cutting machine with a diamond cutting blade is used. To ensure utmost safety, personal protective gear such as hand gloves, eyeglasses and earplugs must be used while cutting the concrete. The machine might accidentally pull the concrete specimen towards the blade. Therefore, it is very important to keep your hands away from the blade and not along the cutting line or in front of the blade. The specimen is kept in the oven at 50 degrees Celsius for 7 days. After 7 days, the specimens are taken out of the oven and cooled for 2 hours at laboratory temperature. Now the concrete disc specimen is ready for testing. Let us move on to the procedure. Measure and record the diameter and thickness of the concrete disc specimen. Place the specimen inside the rubber gasket. Now place this within the rigid metal collar. Ensure tight packing to avoid leakage of oxygen. Place the specimen inside the permeability cell and lock it down to fit tightly. The flat test surface of the specimen must be facing the oxygen opening of the pressure cell at the bottom. Open the outlet and inlet valves of the apparatus and also the oxygen cylinder valve for one minute to expel any pre-existing air from the cell. Now close the outlet valve. Switch on the pressure meter. Increase the pressure using the pressure regulator. Close the inlet valve when the pressure reaches 100 kPa. Record the pressure at an interval of 1 minute. 
If the rate of drop of pressure is more than 5 kPa per minute, then there may be a leak around the specimen or through the gaskets, fittings, etc. This is not desirable as it would give erroneous results. In such a case, remove the specimen, check the fitting, gaskets, etc. and then reassemble until there is no leakage. And the rate of drop in pressure is less than 5 kPa per minute. Now, Record the initial time and pressure for testing. Then, record the pressure at every 15 minute interval. The permeability test is terminated when the pressure reaches from 100 to 50 kPa or after 6 hours, whichever occurs first. Faster the rate of reduction of pressure, more is the oxygen permeability and less can be the durability of concrete. More is the oxygen permeability index more will be the durability of concrete. 